Hello and welcome to The Cook's Pantry. We are on location at the phenomenal olive groves here at Cobram Estate. So there's no prizes for guessing. We are gonna be working with their beautiful extra virgin olive oil. And I thought what better way to kick this off than using the lemon infused. I think one of the biggest misconceptions we have about extra virgin olive oil is that it's purely for salad dressings. It's too delicate to cook with. It can't stand the heat. It's an absolute fallacy. So I thought what a beautiful way to uh, I guess highlight the extra virgin olive oil itself. The lemon infused, it's got a great perfume to it, a great freshness. And I think this pancake recipe is an absolute knockout. And just to pair that with some beautiful stone fruits, which are in season, I'm gonna kick it off. We'll get the stone fruits halved, get them in a pan, little bit of the lemon olive oil uh, and a little bit of sugar. And we'll start to roast them down and get some color on them. We're just gonna pop the stone out. And then very simply, we're just gonna have them in quarters. We've got a pan on, some good heat in there. Give that a good hit of the lemon oil. And then we go with the stone fruit. We'll go over the top of that with a couple of tablespoons of caster sugar. That's just gonna kick along and I guess pair up with the natural sweetness in the stone fruits. So it'll start to give it some nice color, caramelization. I think they're two of my favorite words. <laughs> I say them quite a fair bit, but you're gonna get that toffee kind of coating around the, the stone fruit. And just for a bit of spice, a bit of interest, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I'm just gonna let them tick along, start to soften up a little bit, and then I'll finish them in a nice hot oven so we get that nice roasted softened fruit that will go over the top of these beautiful pancakes. All right, now I'm pretty confident by the time that those stone fruit are nice and cooked, we'll have this pancake batter ready to rock and roll. So it's a very, very simple breakdown, this one. What we're gonna do, start with the dry ingredients. So we've got two cups of plain flour, a couple of teaspoons of baking powder, and just a couple of tablespoons of caster sugar. So this is a very similar method, making pancakes, even making muffins. I use the same method. So get all of your dry ingredients together and then our wet ingredients. So we've got the same quantity as the flour, 500 mils or two cups of buttermilk, and then zest of one lemon. So in this split here, I'm gonna go yolks in with the buttermilk, and then we'll whisk up some egg whites. So we've got the buttermilk, egg yolks, and the lemon zest in there. So I'm just gonna combine that. All right, that's done. So we've got our egg whites in. We're just gonna kick them off, start to get a little bit of air in them, and then we'll just sprinkle a little bit of sugar bit by bit and get some nice soft peaks happening. Like looking at, <laughs> looking at this, you might think I've got a bit of a babushka doll set up with my stainless steel bowls, but um, it's purely just to show you guys the breakdown and the method about how to put it all together. By all means, you could go your flour and your, your wet and your dry ingredients together. What you're doing is you're developing the gluten in the flour, which is not what you want to do. So keep it separate, mix it all together at the end, and it'll be nice and delicate. So we've got some air in there, we're going a couple of tablespoons of sugar, and we just want some nice soft peaks. You don't want to go too far, and it, it's too hard to combine and fold through. Just nice and soft and delicate. All right, that's starting to look good. It's still running, but it's it's holding its shape on the top. It's got that kind of ribbon ribbon consistency to it. All these technical terms. Dry mix, wet mix. Combine those two. So we're just gonna fold that through. Don't worry if there's a couple of little lumps in there. You don't wanna beat it through. You don't need it to be super, super smooth. They will cook out eventually anyway. So you don't wanna overwork it. All right, now I'm gonna go in with about a quarter cup of the lemon infused extra virgin olive oil. We'll just fold that through and then I'll go in with the, with the egg whites and that's when they will start to get really nice and fluffy. Now, I'll go in with the first half of the egg whites you can be a little bit rougher with the first half. You really just want to work it through and loosen it right up. And then the second half is when you start to get it nice and nice and fluffy. Here we go, that's starting to loosen up nicely. All right. Now just gently fold this through. You can see that the volume in there, because of that egg white that's been folded through, it's really nice and, and what's the word? Fluffy. Pan on, and we're gonna continue cooking with the extra virgin olive oil, the lemon infused. So we'll get a touch of that in there. In we go, give it a good drizzle. There's some nice heat in there, as it is. I think we're all set.
Okay, so we've just got that on a, a medium heat. You don't want to go too hard, too fast. Medium heat. It's the classic tale of as soon as you start to see the bubbles at the top, it's time to flip it. So that's probably going to take another two minutes and we'll flip them over and see how we're looking. Okay, so we're starting to get a couple of little bubbles come through the top. I'm going to... Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for. And that's... When you get those egg whites to that perfect consistency, that's what's gonna happen. You get that beautiful kind of biscuity crust around the outside. That's, that's where the egg whites really come into play. They don't just give you the puff, but they give you that texture too. I think you're looking at two to three minutes either side, and, and the key is the medium heat. You don't wanna go, go too hot. You'll burn on the outside. You'll have raw pancake mix in the middle. That's not what you're after. So take it slow, medium heat, nice color, caramelization. There's the favorite words again and we'll repeat. Right, there is the stone fruit sizzling away, looking really, really good. There's our second batch of the pancakes. We're just gonna spoon these over. They're looking borderline jammy, which is what we want. Good old dollop of mascarpone cream over the top. Little sprinkle of cinnamon just to finish it. And of course, a little drizzle for shizzle to finish up those pancakes. We've all grown up with pancakes on a Sunday. There is a nice little number, some lemon pancakes, some in-season stone fruit, and believe it or not, extra virgin olive oil.